back to Godzilla Madness and you know what? Let's re-review Godzilla King Kong vs. Godzilla a third time because why not? It's just... I just felt like it. I'll just talk more about Godzilla's side story here. So basically King Kong vs. Godzilla the American re-edit and yeah it's it's an okay re-edit like I said like I think this is a more faithful re-edit compared to King of the Monsters and Gigantus the Fire Monster because I think this is an okay re-edit like it's still a bad movie it didn't really change much because King of the Monsters like just really drastically changed it so much that a lot of people consider yeah those are two mo different movies because this one yes they add American actors in it and basically kind of removed a satire aspect and for more for a scientific lessons I feel this movie isn't as vastly different as the Japanese version so I I would be okay. I think you're okay going off with this version instead of the Japanese version. But overall, either way, it's still a good movie. Um, this is how Godzilla was re reawakened, and basically, this is how Toho really perfected the versus element, which has been with Godzilla for ever since. Because this is basically the first verse. Like, I know he faced. Um, Angris in the last movie, but this is the movie that perfected it, so yeah. I have nothing much more to say with the American re-edit. It's, it's a fun time, and I don't think you're losing too much with the American version compared to the Japanese version.